Hello, I'm Linda Jacobson and this video is for those people who have been very curious about how to use Grundleware for the ministry field or mission field. Um, we started out, well actually I started out making them for grandchildren, but then they were so popular I asked a missionary from Haiti if she thought that the children at the orphanage or hospice center where she works in Haiti would be interested and she jumped on it. So since then we've made hundreds of pairs. They're already in service and getting great reviews. Um, but I want to just talk about some of the finer points of not only getting started with that, but some of the modifications we've made in order to meet the needs of the ministry. Okay, um, first of all, we took some time to understand the situation there. And with the group we are servicing, the underwear get washed in the river and then they are laid out on rocks or maybe hung in trees to dry. They have uh, probably about 200 to 300 underwear getting laundered every day and uh, this means that these need to be low maintenance. So keeping a girl version and a boy version is not going to be very friendly for the caregivers. So what we did was take a look at the, the girl's front and she said they definitely did not need a fly for little boys so that simplified things for us now if you look at a girl's front it's one piece and the missionary said I don't need fly well this is the boy version and you know those of you who have the pattern know that it comes like this you've got this piece then you've got a side side piece which helps make the fly well, since we don't need that, here's what I'm going to tell you to do. Go ahead and trace these out, fold that piece in half, then take the side piece, draw your line, your seam allowance is where this peak meets and this peak, that's your seam allowance. Fold it, lay it on the other pattern, like so. Pin that down, and now you have a one-piece front for little boys. Now let me just show you the difference between a little boy's front and a little girl's front. Do you see that? The little boy's front has more fabric, which makes sense if you think about it. So. What we did was ask the missionary to test it with the little girls. If we made all of them like this, would they be comfortable for girls? Huge success. So we are making all underwear, boy or girl, like this. So that makes life very, very simple. And of course the backs are the same. Now, you see what I did? I went ahead and traced the two piece onto a new pattern so that I didn't have to keep working with, with this crazy pin in my way. Um, now, of course, in this video, I've got a size two back and a size three front. You don't want to do that, uh, but this is a change I highly recommend, but discuss it with the ministry first to make sure that they are okay with that. All right, now, if you watched the Getting Started with Scrundleware video, I talked a little bit about Haiti and the fact that I transferred my pattern to uh, pizza boxes. Uh, here's the pizza box. Now, the reason that's helpful is what I do to be able to cut out many of these in one day is I will take t-shirts, cut them into eight inch strips if you lay this on a grid, you'll see you need about eight inches of fabric. So I'll lay my t-shirts one on top of the other and use my rotary cutter, cut them into strips, and um, then stack them. It's important to stack them so that the folded edge is even. Once you've got them stacked really nicely, you can take your pizza box, line it up, take a pen, mark around it, flip, move it over, and you can see my first attempt at it, I was too low here, didn't work, so I had to move it up. But then I take and I'll mark where I need to flip it so I can pick it up, line that up, draw the other side. And by doing this, look, I have very little scrap. I'm getting a lot of underwear to each t-shirt. Um, 
I will say also, we make the underwear double front. So, like this. Uh, you'll get, if you put a call out and say we're doing this project, we need t-shirt donations, you are going to get a plethora of white and gray. Uh, not that you can't use those for underwear, but if you can imagine it's being washed in a river, the white's not going to stay white very long and look very good. So we are using those pretty much always for the liner and sometimes gray if I've run out of white. Usually if I run out, it doesn't last long before somebody comes along with another bag of white t-shirts. So these are all 100% cotton and I have got one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine, ten in a stack. I do not have a laser cutter, although someone suggested one and I would like to get one, but I was using my Ginger scissor and cut. I was able to cut that out uh, in one cutting. I wasn't able to go, you know, super fast, but I did get them all cut at once. If you do five, it's quite easy. Let me show you. Okay, that is the benefit of a sharp scissor. I have a brand new Fiskars and it, it really struggled uh, to do much more than four, four layers. The Ginger does not. So, highly recommend you get yourself some sharp scissors and once they start to be a little dull, take them in and get them sharpened. It'll make your progress uh, much quicker. Now, when we are cutting, I will make stacks like this so all backs all fronts, I generally, uh, probably because I'm a little OCD, organize them by colorway, and I use the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, gray, black uh, method. Uh, the reason is, then I've got other gals who do not sew, but they love working with color and design, and so their favorite job is to go through those stacks and make me uh, stacks that are pinned. Now, this one, uh, something fell apart in our instructions and they did not get their liners so we'll have to go through the pile and when when you're telling the ladies how to pin the mission children's underwear they go like this they are a liner the back the back needs to be right side up and then the front needs to be front side down or right side down always right sides facing with regard to the outer part of the underwear. The liner, in all honesty, white is white. It doesn't matter if it's inside out. It really doesn't matter. But these two matter, okay? This one is not a, a design, so no big deal. Uh, but let me see if I've got, I don't happen to have any cute, well, these are some that have come off the workstation. Now you'll notice this is the liner, this is the outer front, and the outer part of the back. Okay, so uh, the way it came off the sewing station was like this. So it looks a little crazy and I'm going to just say it's important that after it comes off that workstation, the serger, I would have someone who's trained in charge of taking them from this step to the step where they're getting the leg band on because I have seen uh, inexperienced sewers do this. They put the belly band in here because they know this is the outside and this is the outside. They put the belly band in and then when they go to turn it, uh, that's not real good. You can see we have the front stuck to the back. Uh, the only way to fix that is to take that belly band off, which is a bunch of no fun. So a seamstress who or someone you've trained to separate it like this and pin the band in inside here uh, is going to save you a lot of work. So take the time to explain how important it is to get these two together and for the belly band to be pinned inside with right sides inside. Okay, if I need to, I can do another video showing you how to do that, but I think you can refer to the um, Scrundleware videos series that I made. All right, now this is how a stack looks 
when you get it from your design girls, the ladies who love to just go through the pile and match things up, come up with crazy designs. They have a back, a liner, and a front. And if you give this stack to the pinners, they will know exactly what to do. And I have got a document in my Scrundleware Love Around the World Facebook group in the files section. So feel free to go there, grab that. Um, it's even designed so that you can print it out and make cards that go at each workstation in case people have questions. So you've got that. You could, if you wanted to, stack them this way where you've got uh, you know, belly band, leg bands, so basically a full set. Um, I don't find it very helpful to do that unless this is somebody's doing the entire process all by themselves. Then you've got all your parts together. So those are my basic tips for uh, specialized things we've done for the construction of the underwear for little children, especially in large groups such as orphanages. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post comments below and be sure to check out our Scrundleware Love Around the World Facebook group. Thank you.